Hey guys, we're back with another video and today we're going to show you how you can reset your WordPress website. It will be useful for both beginners and experienced WordPress users. Resetting the site will let you quickly start over and experiment with WordPress more efficiently. So let's do it. First, let's take a look at our site. Okay, so this is our e-commerce site. We are using a starter template from Bloxy. So let's take a look at this site. You can see we have a lot of content. We have some products over here. And we also have a blog. So if I click on a product, you can see we also have a single product page. We also have a cart page. And let's take a look at the blog page. Here is the blog. And if we take a look at the about page, contact page, and the products page, you can see we have a lot of content in our site. So let's get back to our dashboard and let's go to the product section. You can see we have so much content over here. So if you guys are interested in building an e-commerce site in WordPress, we already have a tutorial on that. You can check that out. We will leave the link of that video in this video's description. To reset a website, you can either do it manually or use a plugin to do it. Using a plugin is a lot easier, so we are going to use a very nice plugin to reset our site. To install that plugin, we're going to hover our mouse over plugins and click on add new plugin. And we are going to search for advanced WordPress reset. Okay, here's the plugin advanced WordPress reset, the ultimate solution for resetting your WordPress database or specific components to their default settings using the advanced reset features. So you can see that this plugin has great ratings. It has a lot of active installations. It is compatible with our version of WordPress and it was last updated three weeks ago. So we're going to install this plugin by clicking on this button. And after it's installed, we're going to click on this activate button. Okay, so it's activated. Now let's go to our dashboard. And as soon as we get to our dashboard, we're going to see a notification over here. New advanced WP reset has been updated to version two with tons of new features like advanced custom resets, sites, snapshots, WordPress switcher, and 30 plus time saving tools. So let's click on this button and take a look. Okay. So it brought us over here in tools. There's the advanced WP reset. Here is the advanced WP reset dashboard. And you can see there are so many features. And here you can see there's the reset snapshot option. Basically a snapshot is a copy of your website's uh, database at a specific moment in time. So it's basically a backup of your site. By clicking over here, you can watch a demo of how to backup your uh, database with snapshots. There's also the tools section. Here you can empty uploads folder, delete all themes, delete all plugins, clean WP content folder, and so many more options, okay? The collections, here's the collection builder, but this is only available in the pro version of this plugin. And we also have a WP switcher, WordPress core switcher. So this is also a pro feature, but what we need is the reset feature. You can see advanced WP reset has several reset options. The first one is the site reset. The second one is the nuclear reset. The third one is the custom reset. And the final is the saved custom resets. You can see the last three nuclear reset, custom reset, and the saved custom resets. These are all available in the pro version of the plugin. We only have access to site reset. So this is what we are going to do. So let's take a look at what site reset feature gives us. This site reset option will clean and reset all database data. This means all the following items will be removed. Pages, posts and comments, custom tables, users except the current admin user this plugin data snapshots and options after reset the following will remain untouched so these options will be untouched the current admin user email address files uploads themes child themes plugins etc basic wp settings like site title wp address site address time zone and language and non-wordpress database tables so with this feature, we will be removing the pages, posts and comments, custom tables. So let's take a look at our posts. 
So these are the posts that we have. And if we take a look at the pages, these are our pages. And for media, these are our media. Okay. And for themes, these are our themes. We're using the Bloxy Child theme, but the 2024, 2023, and 2022 themes are also installed in our site. And if we take a look at the plugins, these are all the plugins that we are using for this site. So let's go ahead and reset our site. We're going to go here. Now, the nuclear reset basically resets everything. This means everything will be reset and removed except the followings. So the admin email address won't be reset and this plugin won't be reset and non WordPress database tables won't be reset. And the custom reset, you will be able to choose what you can reset and what you can keep. So this is also a very handy reset option. And finally, the saved custom resets. You can also save your reset settings. And in the future, if you need to reset again, you can pick your reset settings from here. So we're going to do the site reset. To do that, we're simply going to type reset over here and click on this button. And it's going to give us a warning. You are about to reset your database. All your data will be lost. There is no undo. So I'm going to click on reset now. And let's wait for this to reset our site. Okay, you can see the reset has been done. And you can see that our site has been reset. So uh, if we go to our dashboard first, you can see there's a notification that says, Awesome, the plugin Advanced DB Reset just helped you reset your database to a fresh installation with success. Okay, so if we take a look at our site now, you can see we have nothing. It's reset. Now, if we take a look at the themes, you can see we still have all of our themes over here. Okay, and there's the Bloxy uh, companion installation notification over here. If we take a look at the plugins, all the plugins are there and those are just deactivated and except this one advanced WP reset. Okay. If we take a look at the pages, we only have two pages. So this was there by default. And if we take a look at the posts, we have no more posts. All the posts were deleted. This is the basic hello world post. And if we take a look at the media library, so you can see that our media file, all of these files were removed. We cannot see any of these files over here. But if you remember correctly, if we go to advanced WP reset, it was said that files, uploads, themes, child themes, plugins, etc. will remain untouched. So why can't we see the media files over here? The reason for this is that when you upload a media on your WordPress website, it gets registered in your database. And since advanced WP reset wipes your database clean, it loses the information. Although my media files are present on my server, still, since the database has been reset, it cannot find any media files on my WordPress dashboard. So if we go to the server folder, here we are in the WP server folder. If we go to WP content and go to uploads, we can see that our images and files and folders all are here. You can see these are all the images. So all the images are present on our server, but we cannot see them on our WordPress. So a user asked this question where he faced the same problem where he cannot see any of these media files in their media tab in WordPress. The plugin authority replied that this behavior is standard for a reset operation where the goal is to start clean while still retaining the physical files on the server for backup or reintegration purpose. So this is completely normal. But if you want to import all those media files from your server, what you can do is use this plugin, add from server. This plugin is going to help you retrieve all your media files from your server to your WordPress. Now you can use add from server, but we're going to use a different plugin to retrieve the files from our server. So to do that, we are going to go to plugins and click on add new. And we're going to search for a plugin called media sync. And here's the plugin. We're going to click on install now. Okay. It's installed and activated. Now we're going to go to media and over here, we're going to see a new settings called media sync. So we're going to click on it. 
Okay, after we come here, we're going to see two options, scan files or filter media library. We're going to click on scan files. And if we scroll here, we can see there's a notification that says, please back up your database. This plugin makes database changes. Since we have already reset our website, we don't need to back up our database. We're going to scroll down and here we can see all the files in our WP content folder. So here you can actually select which files and folders you want to import. Okay, so I want to import only this folder, okay, and this image, and then I'm going to deselect this dry run and click on import selected button. And now it's importing all these files. Great, you can see the success message over here that says done, highlighted files were successfully imported. Now if we click on our library, we can see all the images were imported. That is how you can retrieve your media files from your server to your WordPress website. So that is how you can reset your WordPress website using the advanced WP reset plugin. Okay, we hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. So thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.